G'day, this is your captain speaking. I'd like to uh, welcome all passengers aboard to Ruru for a painting inspired by Flight Simulator 2020 and the classic box art of Flight Simulators of Yore. Please note the subscribe sign has been switched on and if you're enjoying yourself, please do feel free to go ahead and click it. So fasten your safety belts and be ready for occasional pockets of turbulence and other flight related cliches as we climb into today's painting. In the unlikely event of a crash, please turn your computer off and on again. In an emergency, masking tape will fall from the ceiling. Tape it to your painting and we'll get started by delicately spurting some creamy white all over the face of the canvas and then artfully smearing with this round boy. Wait for the sticky white mess to double on ton dry, then carefully mount your canvas back on the easel and ruin it by getting grub on it with your first paint stroke. We've now reached our cruising altitude of 69,420 feet. From this nice high altitude, you can see that the mask is roughly in the shape of an airplane cockpit. A term that gets weirder and weirder the more you think about it. Cockpit. Sounds like Australian slang or something you'd get in trouble for saying at school. So let's ignore that and concentrate on painting a beautiful sunset. Blew up your sky and then beat the devil out of the brush for the camera. Normally I do this off screen and here's why I've liberally spattered my canvas, but it's just a happy little turbulence. Brush it off lightly and carry on. This is blue tack, which is useful in cases of when your canvas is too small for your easel. With the canvas held a bit more firmly in place, let's get cracking on some sunlit cumulonimbus clouds, starting with a base colour of burnt sienna, more accurately known as baby poo brown. Augment the clouds with some pastel pinks, artfully lit from the bottom, and give them a nice gentle fluffing. With that done, let's ruin them by adding too much purple. To distract you from this gathering storm, I'd like to direct your attention to our in-flight movie. Footage of Flight Simulator 2020 created by YouTuber and simulator enthusiast Squirrel. Well before Flight Simulator was released, I knew I wanted to do a painting based on it because a game that can literally simulate any landscape in the entire world really couldn't be any more in my wheelhouse or um, cockpit. So I reached out to Squirrel to find out if I could use an image from one of his preview videos as a basis for a painting, and he generously said yes. Unfortunately, a few elements of my painting ended up taking me a lot longer than I'd planned, and by the time I was finished, the game had been out for several weeks. That's okay, because it means I've had the chance to play it, and what a game it is. The entire world and every aerial landscape in it, simulated in high definition, all running at a blistering 20 frames per second on my not entirely high-end PC. So what is Flight Simulator 2020? The Oxford English Dictionary defines flight as the act, manner, or power of passing through the air, and simulator as a person or thing that simulates, and 2020 as, variously, the seventh circle of hell, or the Great Tribulation, or the calendar equivalent of opening a refrigerator expecting to find food and instead it's full of live f***ing spiders. This year, for many people, flying and travel became impossible, so a game that allows you to come close to both couldn't be more timely. And for all that the game is obviously about flying, its visuals are almost entirely concerned with the land. It might more accurately be called Microsoft Ground Simulator. So let's simulate some ground ourselves with the palette knife and a bit of judicious brushwork. In this painting I'm attempting to incorporate inspiration from the cockpit footage you've just seen and my own footage of flying out of a perfectly rendered Queenstown in the South Island of New Zealand. And it really is spectacular. Like many games these days, Flight Simulator might have been created to make artists feel inadequate. More than ever before I feel like the literally planet sized landscape they've rendered on the fly <laughs> see what I did there, is far more beautiful and evocative than anything I could make myself. It's enough to make you want to get into a career pushing pixels instead of paint. I mean, Flight Simulator manages to make Bing Maps relevant. If that's not high art, I don't know what is. All that aside, this really is the game 2020 needed, if only to prove that in this, the first of probably many hellish years to come, we can still have nice things. There's a real joy in the detail, the way you can spend an entire trip carefully monitoring painstakingly crafted instruments while incidentally taking in the stunning scenery. All you ever actually do in the game is fly from A to B, but unlike real flying where all you're really interested in is trying to get some sleep in between in-flight movies and crying children, this really is more about the journey than the destination. And speaking of destinations, we're getting close to arriving at ours. So lift up the window blinds to reveal mystified mountains, a distant lake or ocean, and now we'll just whack in some low-lying cloud and fluff it up good with the big old 2-inch brush. 
Then we'll pop a setting sun in the sky. There we go. And add a reflection and yeah, I reckon we're done. Except of course for a fairly important part, taking off our mask. I'm gonna do this while forgetting that oil paint takes a really long time to dry and getting it all over my hands. But like a lot of accidents, it's nothing that can't be fixed with a couple of paper towels. So we'll just carefully peel off the masking, taking care not to drop the cap- Ah, cockpit. Alright, we'll just try that again, taking extra care this time, not- Oh no! And there you go. Despite a couple of minor crashes, I've managed to stick the landing. Ooh. And what's more, through the magic of editing, we've hidden the fact that under that mask lurked a fully rendered cock cockpit. You know what, I'm just gonna say flight deck. Either way, it took me about two weeks to paint, and if you wait to the end, you'll be able to see an additional reason why. So, uh, that brings us to the end of our journey. As always, thanks for flying with Tururu, and we hope to see you next time.